This preparation is for a meatloaf. In fact, it's going to be a meatloaf for Christmas. We'll use 400 grams of premium beef mince, uh, a couple of hundred grams of Italian pork sausage. We've got half a cup of breadcrumbs. We've got some red capsicum. Now this has been pre-grilled and the, the skin has been taken off by placing them in the oven under the griller till the skin gets black and bubbly and then the skin simply peels off and this is what's been left. Now if you can't make this yourself you can buy it in any deli or supermarket and uh, you can just use it like that. It's about one capsicum. Here we've got half a cup of uh, olives. These are stuffed olives just chopped up into pieces. We've got uh, two bacon rashers cut up into small pieces and this is about one and a half onions. Now these onions you'll no you may not notice but they've been pre-cooked. Um, if the onion is raw it really overwhelms the whole flavour of the dish so I took the trouble of uh, just cooking it lightly before using it in this recipe. A couple of cloves of garlic to go in as well and we've got some herbs, oregano and basil. These are dried herbs, about half a teaspoon each. And finally, we've got some egg mixture to help bind it all together. So we're gonna mix the ingredients together. First the beef, the Italian pork sausage mince. Okay, you'll notice that the capsicum have been left out, and that's because we're going to use them later on when the meatloaf is actually uh, partly uh, assembled. So we'll put the egg mixture in. Now I'm going to use my hands for this and incorporate it all together. This is actually quite a low fat dish even though I've used some uh, Italian pork sausage um, the hands come out quite clean. Sometimes if you're using very fatty meats you get a coating of fat on your hands when you mix it up but this one's quite good. Now we're going to press this um, mixture into a loaf tin. And I've got two to show you here, and you see they're very different. This one here is a non-stick metal one, and this one here is made of silicon. You can see it's quite flexible. It's an amazing product. It'll withstand oven temperatures of the sort we're going to need today, and they only cost a few dollars. I've got here some pineapple rings and a few tomatoes, and we're going to lay those in the bottom of the loaf tin. And another one next to it. These are just sweet pineapple thins and so when the meatloaf is inverted they should look quite good. Okay so the cherry tomatoes go in the middle. Now the mixture can go in next and you'll see how these capsicums are going to be used. So the meatloaf goes in there. There's about half the mixture and you need to press that down very well. Uh, no air pockets, we don't want anything to break up as we're serving it or whilst it's cooking. So we'll just press it down with the back of a spoon. Now at this stage we'll use these capsicum pieces to spread on the meatloaf in the middle and it adds nice flavour and it's also very interesting to look at. And then simply put the rest of the meat mixture on the top. Just spoon it on like this and again as before we'll just press that in. I'm going to just press it down with my hands. Now um, we're going to cook this in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for about 15 minutes because after that time we're going to take it out of the loaf tin and cook it on its own. It should hold together nicely just on a, on a pan without being in the loaf tin and we're going to baste it as well. Now whilst the meatloaf's in the oven uh, cooking, certainly its first section, we're going to spend a few moments making some glaze for the dish when we take it out of the oven later on. So to do this we'll need a quarter cup of water, we'll need just one tablespoon of tomato paste, a 
tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Okay, got a bit extra in there, but it doesn't matter. And two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now, the sugar will give its glazing properties, and the vinegar and the tomato paste will add the flavour to it. So this is ideal not just for meat loaves, but if you're roasting meats or if you're barbecuing beef, uh, you can use this equally as well. Okay, so we're going to cook this on the stove and reduce it for about five minutes over a medium heat, and it'll be ready to apply. Now the meatloaf has had a good 15 minutes in the oven and I've just taken it out, it's nowhere near cooked yet. It's going to need another 25 minutes or half an hour. But we've taken it out because we want to invert it onto a uh, cooking plate. I'll just pour off the excess juices here. Now we're going to invert that onto the tray. And with any luck it'll all come out like that. Okay, so we lift the form off, and there you have it. My basting sauce has been reduced to a nice, uh, moderately thick consistency, and I'm going to baste the whole of the piece like this before we put it back in the oven. And we're going to leave it on this tray and put it back in the oven for another 25 minutes, and it should be done. So, Merry Christmas and enjoy your meatloaf.